Good day Crafty Chums and how are you today? You won't believe that it's um, 9 o'clock in the morning here and I've got my lights on. <laughs> I'll just angle it away a little bit because it's a grey and miserable day here. For this sake, what's going on? So um, this, is, uh, this video is um, going to be part of the Trash to Treasure videos um, uh, being run for um, <clears throat> uh, the Creative Arts collaboration and I'll put all links underneath the video and then an iCard at the end so that you'll get to know um, where it is. So what I've got here is some kitchen roll and um, and also uh, this strip here is I've just cut it, it's part from a, I can't, because I can't get it in on camera, all of it on camera, I thought I would just uh, trim a bit off and show you part of it because uh, of course I don't need um, a lot of it um, but this is uh, a canvas paper paper covered with a canvas and it's what we hold all our charts in on the boat and we've just been going through a process of uh, we're slowly replacing some of our charts with um, some of our paper charts with uh, electronic charts and um, we're going to keep some because uh, there's always the occasion where your electronics can fail and so you need to go back to paper charts so um, uh, as you might be able to see from time to time on my um, table when I do my videos uh, you can see parts of maps that I actually have that I use um, to do scrap work on and you know collect paint and things like that or generally to keep the glare off the glass um, top that I use on the table as well so um, yeah so this is uh, part of that great big huge folder that I've cut up it's far too big I can't even lay it out actually on this table because it's too big and um, what I'm going to do is do uh, make a faux dory um, but cover my um, toilet roll bit which so both of this is recycled normally I would just cut the toilet roll it's actually kitchen roll um, split it in half and then do the covering there but I thought I'd strengthen it right up and put this cover on it as well so without further ado <laughs> without me gabbling on even more what I'm going to do is make a cut in this one and do and make my little um journal faux dory journal <laughs> uh, I say faux dory it's go just going to be end up being what I make it actually you know because that's at the end of the day that's what it is I'm just doing getting t rule on there to get a straight line to start me off it's always nice to have a straight line you can be wonky donkey in some things but other things you do need a straight line <laughs> car making you need straight lines so there you go what I'm going to do now is cut uh, along this line here this edge to open it up open it out and I'm going to glue this down. I won't be able to fold it over the edge because this is much too thick to fold or anything. So what I will be doing is going up edge to edge. So yeah, what I will do is I will glue this down to here, put some weight on it and let it dry and then be back, I think. I think that's the best way for me to do this is just to glue it down and just get on with it basically okay so what I've got to do next is um, trim around uh, the edges here so I say it's far too thick for me to fold over so I'm um, gonna leave it flat as
so he's going to make a very nice um, cover for my faux dory. There we go, that's it. I'm going just going to decorate the inside now. I'm just going straight for it. Just going to give it a white background, otherwise it will just um whatever I put on here is my mixed media base thing, it will just uh, show through. So the uh, toilet paper roll would show through, so I don't want that. So we are just going to white it out. And I'm going to let it dry. Okay, so I'm just going to paint some um, gesso on here. And then I'll let that dry and then we will have some fun and um, do some mixed media on the uh, outside and the inside. A bit of fun and enjoy ourselves, huh? Of course, this canvas um, makes a nice texture on here as well adds to the excitement of the piece, huh? Which is cool. Just let that dry. So I've got some Mod Podge now and I'm going to um, just um, glue little different bits and pieces on here and uh, yeah I've got a um, I've got an atlas on here which I thought might be nice to go on <laughs>
so I finished decorating um, the little book there and uh, that's all finished now all nicely dried off and um, what I'm going to do is add some scrap pages into it like this and it could be used as a notebook as little mini journals just like um, anything you want really and uh, you just finish it off by just getting a hair tie putting it around there like that attaching another one just to the back there like that and just popping it over and it just keeps it closed as well so I mean you can make that as fancy as you want or anything like that but I'm just using I'm recycling what I've got around me so uh, and you can too and that's how you make your little mini faux dory and uh, hope you like this little make Hope you make one too. See you again soon. Don't forget to catch all the other crafters uh, working on the Trash to Treasures hashtag videos and the link will be up in the corner there somewhere. See you again soon. Bye.